And eventually you go to coach for Cleveland. Yep. And what's, I think the most interesting part about you starting there at Cleveland is you start only days before LeBron James is getting ready to make his decision <laughs> right. on whether he stays in Cleveland or he goes to Miami or uh, we, we didn't really we know, know for sure yeah, right, right. <laughs> where he was going, right. but it ends up being Miami. And so there's this big TV special called the decision, right. <laughs> which he gets a lot of flack for later yeah, on. Yeah. Uh, but he, he makes this big TV special. It's called the decision, but you actually knew a couple days before you are pretty sure you knew yeah, yeah. Uh, what he was going to do. So tell us about how that all came about. Well, uh, you know, our general manager, Chris Grant uh, kept saying to me that LeBron's not leaving. Yeah. He said, he's not leaving. He don't have the balls to leave. He's, he's been here all his life. He's not going anywhere. And my whole thing was, well, what if he does? You know, let's let's just say the worst case scenario, he leaves. You know, what are we going to do? I mean, you go, are we going to talk? At that time, we kind of figured it was Miami. You know, as, as an organization, we had kept hearing things. So are you going to call Miami and make a trade, you know, a sign and trade deal, you know, get some access back and, you know, things of that nature. No, nah, he's not going anywhere. So I, our, our last meeting about that was probably the day before the decision was being made. And we were in our, our coaches meeting and we were talking about it. And he was still pretty sure that LeBron wasn't leaving. I said, well, you know what? I can find out. You know, he said, really? I said, yeah, I can find out. I'll give, I'll give somebody I know a call. And they said, well, who's this somebody? I said, well, I'm not going to tell you who, but he knows LeBron really well. He said, okay, we'll give him a call. So I, I leave my office. I mean, leave their office. I go to my office and I call Chris Paul. And I said, CP, this is Coach. Said, coach, what's going on? I said, I, I need to know from you, is LeBron leaving or staying? Coach, I'll call you back. I get off the phone. I sit in the office for about three minutes. Phone rings. I answered it. Coach, CP, I said, CP, what's happening? He's gone, Coach. Just like that. He said, he's gone. I said, really? He said, yep, he's gone. I said, all right, thanks, CP. Hang up the phone. I go back in another room. <laughs> I sit there. I said, what you find out? I said, he's gone. He's gone. That's, that's, what, that's what my guy told me. He's gone. He ain't going nowhere. It's all right. So next day, you know, we got all these summer league guys coming in and working them out. Decisions that night. And, uh, you know, I finished my, my, my practice with these guys. I'm in there. I'm waiting on the decision. But I'm going through, you know, the next day practice and also cuts. I'm, I'm cutting guys and I'm going through what we're going to do the next day in practice. And it comes on, and I sit there, and I watch it just like everybody else, you know. And he said, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach. And I was like, oh, okay. So I turned the TV off, you know, finished what I was doing. And as I'm driving back to the hotel, you know, all the stuff that had LeBron on it, on any billboard or any wall was being burned or taken down. And I was like, oh, that's right, because I stayed back in the office for another hour. You know, so I still remember that image of that massive yeah, banner on the side of the just building just coming down, just coming down. Yep. And the people in Cleveland was furious. You know, they, they were furious. So uh, it wasn't one of the best days in Cleveland. And I know LeBron later on, you know, maybe the next year admitted that that probably wasn't the best way to do it. <laughs> right. 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 And you, you told me a story off air, too, about uh, about how you you actually uh, he got pulled over. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And so tell, <laughs> tell us about what happened there. So again, you know, that night, uh, everybody's going crazy. I get back to the Ritz Carlton. That's where I'm staying. That's where the team put me up. I ordered dinner, ate dinner, and everything, and went to sleep. Got up that morning. I'm driving to the uh, to a practice facility. I get pulled over by a cop. You know, and I never saw the little sign up there that said 35 miles. I was going like 50, and so he pulls me over. <clears throat> I rolled down the window. And he looks at me, oh, Coach Scott, how you doing? I said, I'm good. How you doing? He said, I'm good. I, I need you to slow down a little bit, though. He said, I'm not going to give you a ticket because you already had a bad night. So I'm going to just let <laughs> you go. But just slow down a little bit. <laughs> and I just started busting up laughing. Yeah. Couldn't wait to get to the office and tell, and tell the coaches that I just got pulled over. The cop let me go because he said, I've already had a bad night. I lost, I lost LeBron James. So I, <laughs> I'm going to let you go. You had enough, you had enough problems for the night. <laughs> 